All right, good morning. We're going to go ahead and get into the weekly briefing here, our routine Thursday weekly briefing here for Central North Carolina. That will be covering the period essentially from today through next Wednesday. Uh, before we go into the slides, I want to show you kind of the current uh, satellite image uh, across the nation. Give me one second. All right, now you can kind of see uh, we have, this is a composite of satellite and radar. Um, basically from the Midwest to the Ohio Valley and across the Southeastern US. And this area of clouds kind of over the Midwest, like Missouri, Illinois, up into the Great Lakes, uh, that's associated with um, our next weather system that will be approaching tomorrow and kind of moving off tomorrow evening. Um, this is another one of our cold fronts that will be coming in tomorrow. And that's gonna produce, uh, um, give us a chance for some showers, as well as um, potentially maybe um, some storms as well during the afternoon hours. Um, otherwise today, um, as we kind of zoom in into North Carolina, relatively quiet today. We do have some considerable cloudiness around uh, that will be around uh, through the afternoon hours. And it's going to be a chillier day. You may have already noticed that uh, if you were out and about this morning. Temperature is going to be ranging from the upper 60s to around the middle 70s for our far southern counties. Let's go into the uh, the slides here. All right. So looking at the upcoming weather pattern we have for uh, tonight and Friday, um, kind of the main story for today, again, cooler temperatures, upper 60s to middle 70s. Uh, you'll notice for tonight and Friday, we have that approaching cold front um, from the Midwest Ohio Valley. And associated with that front will be a uh, surface area of low pressure that will form off the coast of the Carolinas uh, tomorrow. That's going to produce the chance for some showers and some storms Friday. Then on Saturday, generally we have high pressure that will build in across the southeastern U.S. Um, so it's going to give us some drier, albeit cooler, and also breezy conditions Friday night and for Saturday. So really a nice weekend taking shape. Um, we will be a bit chillier on Saturday, but um, temperatures on Sunday will get back warmer. And for next week, Monday, we'll get back into the 80s um, as we get essentially a warm front lifting north by Sunday and early Monday. Then as we go into the middle of next week, um, essentially Monday through Wednesday, we're gonna see the chance for some showers and storms Monday and potentially a little bit more unsettled mid to late week next week. Um, temperatures will start out above average, then return back to below normal for Tuesday and for Wednesday. This is looking at the accumulated precipitation forecasts through the next seven days. For today, um, generally we have light amounts. We think um, the main chance for any kind of precipitation today would occur pretty much during the overnight hours into early Friday morning with the approach of that cold front and surface low pressure. So generally today is gonna to be dry. Um, for Friday, we do have some rainfall amounts expected, especially across the Eastern Piedmont and across the coastal plain. Amounts could be between a 10th to as much as a half of an inch uh, through Friday with that cold front coming in. And then for Saturday and uh, for most of Sunday, it's going to be relatively dry this weekend. Then the more unsettled weather kind of comes. Um, Monday, we have the cold front pushing south. And then um, some rain again, potentially um, 
come Wednesday, especially after Wednesday, come Thursday, Friday, um, with the chance for rain on Monday, we will will be relatively dry on Tuesday. So there will be sort of kind of uh, a swing in uh, precipitation chances from rising on Monday, then falling on Tuesday, and then a up to uptick in precipitation chances Wednesday onward. Looking here is the severe thunderstorm potential for today, for tomorrow on Friday, and for Saturday. In general, today we're not expecting any storms, as also the case on Saturday. For tomorrow, Friday, we are generally, uh, we're currently in um, a general thunderstorm risk on Friday. However, we have looked at the latest guidance, and it does suggest that they there could be a slightly greater threat of some storms um, with the main um, thing that it could potentially produce would be some small hail, especially along and east of Interstate 95. And we'll be uh, potentially updating that um, through the day to, to later today and potentially tomorrow. Uh, let's go into the extended outlook. This is courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center. Um, for the 8 to 14 day outlook for temperature on the left, essentially we are uh, expected to be under uh, a probability of below normal temperatures, um, so below seasonal normals. With precipitation, which is the figure on the right, essentially going to be near normal precipitation, um, which may not be the best thing because we have had a lack of precipitation over the last several weeks, so we could use some additional rain, but at least some of the precipitation that we will get tomorrow and part of mid to late week next week, that may help somewhat with the dry conditions. All right, let's go into the weather summary for this weekly briefing. Main, main takeaways is that we're gonna have some cooler temperatures today through Saturday. Um, if you have a chance to be out and about and enjoy the weather this weekend, I would Highly recommend it. Um, temperatures are going to be ranging from the upper 60s to middle 70s through Saturday. We have a chance for some showers and storms on Friday, especially the storm chance along and east of I-95 tomorrow. That will be the main potential threat area with some small hail. We have some dry and breezy conditions Friday night and Saturday. That could cause some fire weather concern Friday and most likely on Saturday with some low relative humidity and gusty winds. We will warm back up into the 80s come Sunday and Monday. And then we have a chance for some showers and storms uh, next week, Monday, and potentially a little bit more unsettled as we come into mid to late week next week with temperatures falling back to below normal uh, in the 60s and 70s. That is all that I have for the weekly briefing. Does anyone have uh, any questions?